Kitchen. My name's Melinda and I am the Local Business Development Manager for Thermomix. So today, thank you so much for coming along. Thank you for registering and thank you for letting us know all of the things that you want to learn about today. So some of the key things that you were interested in was saving time in the kitchen, figuring out what to cook, getting the most out of your Thermomix and just experiencing what the Thermomix is all about. So we can cover off that and more as we move forward today. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is that we do have a fabulous bowl blade and lid hosting offer on. So in the comments, you will see a link to this cooking class. If you want to quickly go and share that link with somebody that you know that should be seeing a Thermomix, then if they come on board and they purchase as a result of today, then you as the host could be purchasing your own bowl blade and lid set for $99, which is a huge saving. And trust me, once you've experienced having two bowls for your Thermomix, it's something that you never go back. So today, my aim is to have some fun with you, um, to cook with you, and to show you some of the functions of the Thermomix. So as we move forward, the recipes that we're cooking today may or may not be things that you cook at home. But the important thing for you is to see how the Thermomix works and ask any questions in the chat. And because we're a small group, you could probably unmute yourself as well and ask questions if there's anything in particular that you're wondering if you can cook in the Thermomix. If you do want to see different recipes at any stage, then the best thing to do is to host your own tailored cooking experience. And what that means is that your consultant can work with you to choose recipes that you want to cook in your Thermomix. And they can either come to you in your home and show you that. They can do it online. Or you might even be able just to zoom into their bench as they're cooking dinner with a friend and, and experience what they're cooking and see what you particularly want to cook. So I'm not going to talk too much more right now. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to cook today is a pizza Bianca. Now, what that happens with that is we're going to create a really quick, easy and simple pizza that is topped with garlic and rosemary. So let's start with that. Now, the first thing here... Let's go home up to my home screen. Is I'll show you. Oh, for those of you who aren't TM6 owners yet, one thing that you may not have experienced is the magic of cookie do on your Thermomix screen. So you may have a cook key, but having cookie do available to you on the home screen of your Thermomix takes it to a completely different level. So let's have a look here and I will show you. I have my recipes and my creative collection. So you can see here, I have a range of collections. I'm not sure actually whether you can see the screen, but I have categorized my recipes into different collections. So I have my main for mints, my main meat recipes, my entrees, cakes, all sorts of different things. Today, I've created a special list for our cooking experience and I just simply select my pizza Bianca. I wanna start cooking, so I press the button. I have already preheated my oven, which is telling me to do. Now, when you're cooking with your Thermomix, so today we are using the guided cooking function for both of our recipes. But when you cook at home, don't be a slave to your Thermomix. You're in charge. So if you are the type of cook that, you know, does your own thing, you can still do that with your Thermomix. And I'm going to give you an example in a second because... It says two garlic cloves. I actually have four here. I like a lot of garlic and a lot of rosemary on my pizza Bianca. It's telling me to put in three sprigs of rosemary. Again, I like a lot of rosemary. So I'm just going to pop in a few more bits of fresh rosemary in here as well. It smells delicious. I wish you could smell what is happening in this kitchen already. And we haven't even really started yet. Okay. Insert the measuring cup. This is my first tip for you. So we're going to be full of hints and tips for you today as well. Um, this says, turn the speed selector to speed seven. I actually like doing my garlic and my onions on speed five. So I'm not going to, I'm a little disobedient. I'm not going to do what the Thermomix tells me. And I'm going to just turn my speed to speed five. Thank you, Thurman. Oops. So let's see if you can see what's happening in there. Okay. At speed five, I find that the garlic and the rosemary is more evenly chopped. Same with onions. Okay. So generally, the Thermomix may tell you to do things on a certain speed, but if you've experimented a bit and you know what you like, 
then you can change it at any time. And of course, if you like what I was when I first started with Thermomix, well, first got my Thermomix 11 years ago now, um, I used to just follow the bouncing ball because I didn't know how to cook. But with experience with cooking with a Thermomix, you actually start experimenting, which is super exciting. I've scraped down the sides um, and I'm going to start with my next part. All right, so the first, next thing is I've put in 220 grams of water. Here's my kettle. So you can see the scales here. The scales go up in one gram increments and you weigh directly into the bowl, which means there's no mess. I'm gonna to have to turn that around because I actually can't see. <laughs> Now, I'm going to be talking off to the side a little bit today too because I have the fabulous Kirsten here with me. Kirsten is one of our team leaders, which means that she um, is not only a very experienced and fabulous thermomix consultant, but she actually leads and motivates and helps and supports a team of people herself. So there's some great career opportunities with thermomix. There's my water in. It says to put in a teaspoon of sugar. I don't like to add sugar to my pizza dough. but I'm going to pop my yeast in. Now, I do like to use the packets of yeast. It's not as economical, but I find that it keeps the yeast a lot fresher. So I put that in. Next, and it's going to now heat the water up to 37 degrees. Now, again, I've cheated a little bit. In the interest of time, I've actually preheated some water and popped that in so I can skip that step. Now, heating the water to 37 degrees actually activates the yeast and makes it beautiful and fuzzy. So because I've put warm water in, I don't need to do that. Now, I can clear my scales so that they're onto zero and add 400 grams of baker's flour. So baker's flour or strong flour is really good for using bread. It's got a higher protein content, which means that you get a better Crumb on your bread and it develops the gluten better. So it gives you a better loaf. Let's pop that in. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, how's that? 404 grams. Perfect. Next. Oh, I've got my olive oil. So you know what? I'm just going to pop it in through the top. See my scales again. Oops. And off we go. Now, sometimes with olive oil, if you give it a little bit of a flip around like that, it actually helps it to weigh better. Because sometimes you can pour olive oil in and it takes a little while for the scales to recognise that it's in there. Um, but if you pop it around the sides, it quickly recognises that the weight has changed. Next, teaspoon of sea salt. Oops, I'm getting excited and forgetting that I need to add more ingredients. Here we go, salt in. Next, insert your measuring cup. And off we go. So we're now kneading our loaf. So remember in the olden days, if you think of making bread, you might actually think about kneading the bread and you would have to knead the bread for quite a long time like this. Right? So in the thermo mix, that's all done for you. And as the bread is kneaded, all those ingredients come together and it gives that beautiful stretch to the dough, which is what we need to have a light and fluffy loaf, or in this case, pizza. Anything that you want to add at this point, Joe? Um, not at this moment. No. All right. So we could talk about a few of the modes that you can get on. Oh, what I've got here is our fabulous bread mat. Now, you may already be familiar with our mix shop online. So our mix shop is where you not only can get thermomix accessories, but you can buy fabulous cooking things as well. So this is our bread mat. It's used, it's available to you on the mix shop. Fabulous for proving dough, fabulous for working with dough. Um, it has some ready-made circles on there, so you can actually get your dough to the right size. But really great for doing anything messy and you 
that you don't want to get your bench message. <laughs> so today we're going to use that with our dough. And it's a host. And it is one of our host rewards. So for attending this BCE, this cooking experience today, you will be eligible for some host rewards. So make sure you talk to your consultant and ask them how you can maximise the benefits from today's class as well. The other thing I want to mention to you is that when you purchase something from the mix shop, it would be really awesome if you could add your consultant's name is and recognise your consultant. Because that's a really great way for thanking your consultant. Your consultant will earn a commission based on the products that you buy in the mix shop doesn't add any additional income or any additional um, cost to you for doing that, but it is a really nice way to uh, thank your consultant for being of service to you. Okay, so look at that. That dough, this is how you tell whether your dough's really good. See how my bowl's really clean? Oh, and it smells delicious too, because remember I didn't wash it between the garlic and the dough. So it smells delicious. And that bowl is really clean, which means it's a really good consistency. For you owners, great way to get your dough out is just to give your blades a little bit of a wiggle, like that, and the dough falls straight out. I have got some left on the side there. So what I'm actually going to do is go to my home screen, and I'm just going to turn the speed up a little bit. So up to about speed six and stop. What that does is, you can use that at any stage. Great for dough, but anytime you have anything stuck under your blades, if you just pop the speed up really quickly to your thermomix, then you're going to get at all speeds off. And then I can just use a little bit of this dough and pop it underneath. Clean up that. And then I have a beautifully clean bubble to finish off with. So now with this, all I'm going to do with this now is just pop that into a nice looking curve. Isn't it nice to have assistance in the kitchen? I wonder if she does the washing up. That's no. <laughs> all right. So I've just given that a little bit of a neat. It feels beautiful. I'm just popping that into a tight ball and loosely wrapping up. So that just needs now to go into a place that's draft free where it can keep warm. Some place, this is the only thing I really use my life microwave for these days, is operating. So that's just a little place that's out of the um, drafts. If it's a really cold day, I might just pop a, a cup of boiling water in there to heat the area, put it in a small confined space. That's also what the thermo servers are really good for as well. So another host reward that you can get access to by attending today or attending your own tailored cooking experience is the fabulous thermo server. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more, but I just thought I'd show you. You can fill that up with hot water and sit your dough on the top and the heat from that will keep your dough at a good um, temperature to prove. All right, what's next on the agenda? Chicken velouté. Chicken velouté. What is a velouté, do you ask? Well, that is a very good question. A velouté is actually a French sauce. Now, I can't remember the exact definition, but it's something about being a very beautiful and creamy and smooth sauce. Um, and we can do that. Traditionally, a velouté, I think, contained a lot of um, butter and oil, but we can do it really simply and easily in the thermomix. So let's go back to my recipes my collections, I've got my cooking experience and my chicken velouté meal. So I've got my dough proving and off we go. Here we go. The ingredients would help. Velouté is French for velvet. Velvet, there you go, velvet is smooth. Oh, I can see Jenny answered then. Hi, Jenny, thank you. Here we go. Garlic clove in. Now, where is my little lid gone? Okay, garlic clove in. Next, insert the measuring cup. Done. Up to speed three. Now, when I turn this, I don't have to be too careful because the speed is actually preset. So I just go, what we do? Off it goes. And you can actually clear it with your ears. Did you hear how it stopped running around? Now, again, I did show you the garlic before, but one thing I want to show you 
with this is see how it's so beautifully and finely chopped. Imagine if you did that in a food processor. Do you know what would happen? Well, it's the design of the blades, right? It picks up things really well in the bowl. So in a food processor, that garlic clove might just spin around and bounce around and not actually chop. So that's where the design, one of the design features of the blades of the Thermomix, they're all on slightly different angles so that they can best pick up um, what you're chopping. We're going to do onions too soon, I think. Oh, no, we're not actually. We're going to do high heat onions. But onions in the Thermomix is still one of my favourite things because I don't cry any more chopping off, chopping off onions, chopping up onions because it's all done in here. 30 grams of olive oil. So, again, I'm just going to pop it around the side here because it helps me to know if I can see what's happening. There we go. 32, close enough. Let's scrape that down a little bit more and off we go. Next, next, and cook. Okay, so the Thermomix has been set for three minutes at 120 degrees, speed one. So what happens when you cook in a Thermomix is the temperature is set for you. The temperatures are very, very surprising. Surprise. They do surprise you, but they're also very precise. And when you set a the temperature in the thermomix, what the thermomix does is heat up all of the contents of the bowl to that temperature and maintain that temperature for you. What that represents to you is consistent results. So you know when you cook something in a thermomix once and it works, as long as you're inputting the same ingredients, you're always going to get the same results. It's all about that time, that temperature and that speed. So really, if you can set time, temperature and speed, then you can cook with a thermomix, okay? Now, I just wanted to let you know about this spatula. So for our TM5 owners and TM31 owners that are here today, this spatula is amazing. So you can, again, you can get this from the mix shop. It is perfectly fine to use in a TM5 or a TM31, but see, it has a flexible tip. So get yourself one of these, game changing. All right, so that's happening with the temperature. Look how much time I'm saving, right? So things take to cook as long as they're going to cook. So when you cook something, um, I can't think of an example right now, but when you cook anything, it takes as long as it takes to cook, but it's the Thermomix's time that's cooking. It's not my time, okay? So I don't have to stand at the stove and stirring and be chained to the stove. I can pop things in my Thermomix and walk away and do something else. So what you find with a the Thermomix is you get really efficient at your cooking. I've already chopped my onions and done a lot of the preparation for these recipes to make it easier for today. But generally what I would find I do is I pop my garlic in like I'm doing now. Then I'd walk away, get my onions out and I'd be preparing the next thing while that's cooking. So it just adds up to time saving in the kitchen as well. What else must I talk about here, sir? Um, I think we can talk about the fact that the MC, the new MC, how it doesn't burn. Yes, that is an excellent thing to talk about. In fact, I'm going to grab the other bowl. And see. So our Thermomix measuring cup, look, all of the design features in the Thermomix are pretty incredible, right? And there's been a lot of time spent and a lot of thought put into making things the best that they can possibly be. So one of the features that I love with this is that this measuring cap doesn't fall out. So you just take it off and put it straight on your bench and it's fine. The other thing I love about it is that it has little grooves in, around here. So what I can do is I can drizzle things into the Thermomix and they'll slowly go in. So if I'm making like a mayonnaise or something, I can slowly drizzle my oil into the top of it. And the mayonnaise, the oil will slowly, slowly drizzle in while the mayonnaise is emulsifying down the bottom. Great for separating your eggs as well. Pop your eggs on the top, your yolks will stay there, your egg whites will go through into your mix. All right, what are we doing next? We are going to add 200 grams of brown onions into our thermomix wedges. So here we go. It was an onion. I'm not sure if it was 200 grams. Now we're going to use one of our heat settings now. 
So the Thermomix has a number of special modes, and one of them is heat. Did you see what I did with that heat color? Was I tidy? Hmm, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> you know when you're just too efficient and you frighten yourself because you're really efficient. All right. So as I was, let's pop this on and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about some of the modes. So the, therm, the TM6 has a number of different cooking modes that you can use during cooking and during recipes. So at the moment, we're using our high heat mode. Now, what that enables us to do is to very safely cook things at a high heat contained in the thermomix, and that adds a whole lot more extra flavour. So we are actually browning these onions off in the thermomix, which will add a beautiful flavour to the soup that we're making. I don't think I've even talked about what we're making, have we? No, I just got super excited. It's in the chat box. And you know what? I'm going to share something with you. This is the first time that I've actually done any sort of live cooking experience in about five years. So <laughs> it's actually really fun. And I can't believe all of the information that's coming back to me. So if I seem a little bit clunky, that's why. All right, can you hear that sizzle? I don't know whether you can hear it, but trust me, it's sizzling away. We have our high heat function. Um, another function that I love on the TM6, which might not sound very impressive, but once you've tried it, it's again a game changer, is the egg boiling mode. So with the egg boiling mode, you choose how you want your eggs to come out, and that's how they come out. So your eggs, I like to do them at the medium soft, which means the whites are hard. Oh my goodness, listen to the sizzle. The whites are hard and the yolks are soft. And then I just scoop them out with a spoon and pop them on toast. Perfectly poached eggs. And again, those, because of the control temperatures in the thermomix, consistent results. Every single time you do those eggs, you will get the exact same result. Okay, so very exciting. Another mode. <laughs> speaking of eggs. Speaking of eggs. What am I speaking about eggs now? Oil. I just did the oh, boiler. Okay. Pre clean. Oh, the pre clean mode is incredible. So, once you finish cooking, all you do is you pop a litre of water in or like a drop of dishwashing detergent, pop on your pre clean mode. Dishes are done while you're, while you're cooking dinner. Your kitchen is not strewn with dirty pots and pans, it's all contained in the one bowl, which virtually cleans itself. So that's pretty cool as well. Especially for the Team 5 and the Team 31 owners, it is a game changer, especially with things like come dough. Out? I can come, come around and join me. <laughs> Don't hide her. <laughs> yeah, but especially for the Team 5 and the 31 owners that are thinking about grading, it really is a game changer. The Team 5 does have a pre clean mode, but it isn't as. Um, fabulous as this one. So no. when you're thinking of dough and stuff like that, you've got your browning, um, you can choose which mode you want to go to. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm. And I had to jump in and say something because I just love it. And I'm so glad you did. <laughs> um, so as I said, the best way for you to experience the TM6 is to talk to your consultant and have them show you the things that you really want to see. So if you have any questions at all about can it do this, I love making this recipe, can I do that in the thermomix? How do I do, how do I juice in the thermomix? Then talk to your consultant and they'll be able to show you that. Now how hosting works is that when you do that with your consultant and if you have a friend come along, so that friend can join you via Zoom, they can join you in person, however you're having your interaction with your consultant, they, you are the host and they are the guest and there are all sorts of things on offer for you. As I said, at the moment, we have our bold later lead offer, which is pretty special because that doesn't come up very often. But please have a chat to your consultant about organising your own tailored demonstration and what's on offer for you to do that too. I had someone the other day I was talking to actually and um, they were not sure how to do bolognese sauce. And there is a really great bolognese sauce called the Skinny Mixes Chunky Bolognese Sauce, which I love. It's a staple in our household. And um, this consultant was actually telling me, she just said to her customer, look, I'm doing it this afternoon for dinner. Why don't you and a friend just zoom in? I'll put my laptop on my bench and 
watch me make spaghetti bolognese. So they did that and that's class of the experience. So it doesn't have to be a big rigmarole and difficult. It can be as simply as joining your consultant and learning something new about your thermomix with a friend. All right, off we go. That smells amazing. Oh, so good. Oh, look at all that garlic. Guess what we're having for lunch? Oh, look at that. Can you see? It's all browned off. The garlic's all browned off. Awesome. So if anyone used to cook this in the TM5, we didn't have that, that um, mode. It, we would just, and there is a TM5 recipe on the recipe community for those of you who have a TM5. Um, not sorry, the cookie do. All right. Next. Thank you, Kurt. 500 grams of <laughs> I look, Did you see the hand? <laughs> you know what? I always say that when you've got extra bowls, sometimes all you need is another pair of, pair of hands. Um, to deal with all of the bowls so you can get your bowls on and off quickly. Well, I have an extra pair of hands apparently. 500 I'm going to. Speedy, speedy, speedy. I really need an ergonomic handle for my kettle to do it like this. I'll show you when I pour out the soup. If you can remind me if I forget, mm -hmm. one of the features of the bowl, which is that it's got an ergonomic handle to help save your shoulders in doing that, if I forget. Okay, vegetable stock paste. This is like gold. So I'm actually using a chicken stock paste at the moment. Um, I, I prefer the flavour. It's available on Cookie Do for you. But also your vegetable stock paste is what you use to use up all of your um, vegetables that you're not getting to. Just the odds and ends with some herbs and salt. And that replaces any stocks that you're buying. It's cheap, it's no preservatives, and it tastes delicious. I've forgotten what I'm doing. Vegetable stock paste, got excited. Simmering basket. So the simmering basket just keeps whatever you're cooking off the blades and allows things to steam or cook in here. So today we are going to pop in our leeks and our potatoes. Thank you. So 220 grams of leeks, which I have already cut up. Again, I don't, I'm not a slave to my thermomix. I had a couple of leeks, I use those. 370 grams of Nadine potatoes. These are just potatoes that I had. Again, I've cut them up and you'll notice I've kept the skin on. Lots of nutrients under the skin and no waste. And if you're looking to save a bit of time and you don't like the prep in the kitchen, leave the skin on. The, thermo the speed of the blades in when we puree the soup will allow, um, you won't even notice the skin's on there. All right, let's work that out. Pop it in. Okay, now, where is just here. Thank you. Okay, so today we are doing two things at once. I'm making it. I still haven't told you what I'm cooking. I love a surprise. Um, we are doing potato and lake soup in the bottom of the bowl. And while we're cooking that soup, we are going to steam a second course. So what I have in here is some chicken tenderloins. Um, and I'm actually going to, I met with one of our beautiful consultants yesterday, Milan, and she gave me some Duka, 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 however you want to say it, that she'd made in the Thermomix. And isn't this beautiful? Look at this little thing. Imagine the gifts, amazing gifts you can make. So I'm actually going to pop some of that as just some flavouring on top. So thanks, Milan, for um, I'm putting your Duka to good use. Delicious on here. Okay, let's pop the lid on. I have my steamer, my Varoma. It comes with your Thermomix as part of the package. And on the tray, as I said, I'm going to pop that all on there. Next, the aroma lids on, and that is now going to cook away for 17 minutes. Okay. So again, I'm just going to recap for you because I feel like that was a bit quick. In the bottom, we've got our potato and leek soup that is cooking. In the top, I'm going to be steaming some chicken and vegetables, which they're on at the moment. And at the same time, um, we're, or at the end of that, we're actually going to make a beautiful sauce from the, um, from the soup as well. So I just wanted to present to you to all of the different, some of the different functions that are available for you cooking in the Thermomix. So this is the Thermomix package as well that you receive when you get a Thermomix. And in terms of how much a Thermomix is, look, most people know 
cannot thermomix yeast. And I'm just going to find a glass for you. But it is not that one. It is. Anyway. No, mine doesn't have a price. 2269. Two, I know what the price is. What's the price, Kurt? The price is 2269. Two, and once you have your thermomix, you get all of the accessories that we're using today, plus a few more as well. So one inclusive package. We have a range of payment options for you. Um, you can pay it off in three payments on your credit card. We have some financing and interest-free type options for you as well. But what a lot of people come on board to do is a lot of people think, you know what? I actually have a few friends that might be interested in some of them I mix. And those people love to come on board and um, become consultants and earn their thermomixes. So if earning your thermomix is something of interest for you, you know what, you can stay on at the end and I can talk to you about that if that's of interest. Or again, your consultant is the best place to start in terms of asking any questions about hosting a demonstration or a cooking experience or finding out a little bit more about what they do and what's involved in thermomix consulting. Because do you know what, I reckon it's a little bit different to what you think it is. So let's talk more or let's go back to our dough which I kind of left in my microwave because apparently that's what my microwave is good for. Now generally I would leave this for longer until it's doubled in size but for the purposes of time for us but also we're cooking pizza right so we don't necessarily need it to be light and fluffy and all of the things that happen when you leave it to freeze for a longer time. So I'm just going to move my little screen out of the way. Open up our fabulous. Okay, and you can see, look at and look how perfectly round. Beautiful. Couldn't have done it better if I had a tried myself. All right. So we only actually need about half of this. Oh, that feels beautiful too. Now you can see, so this is doubling as a knife for me. And I'll knock that debt back. And I'll show you a few little tips. Okay, while well, this is happening. Now, making bread, honestly, so many cost savings in making your own bread, but also um, preservatives. For those of you, I know there are a few of you on today who are looking at healthy eating and healthy cooking and either cooking for people with dietary um, things, <laughs> allergies, or just trying to avoid preservatives. So making your own bread is awesome. One of the things that always pops to mind for me about making your own bread and the cost of that is when you um, buy cheesy mites scrolls from Baker's Delight, how much are they now? They're like $3, $3.50, I think, yeah. each. So you can buy your cheesy mites scrolls or you can make them from scratch and you can do that for you know, probably a couple of dollars, um, a bit more for the dough and a bit more when you add your cheese and vegetable mites, but huge sauce cost savings. Make them, pop them in the freezer and um, then you are ready take them out ready for the kids' lunches. So that's always a great thing. I always just do that for my kids. There's actually a recipe um, on the recipe community and it's the Baker's Delight cheesy bacon rolls. So look that up. Actually, I'll post it in the link. Really, yeah. really good. It's a winner. Did you see what I did? There it is. All right. So one thing you might have noticed there is that I popped oil on the um, pizza and then I used my hands to spread it out so that oil just helps you because sometimes it's a bit hard isn't it to spread things out easily and that oil just helps it not stick to your hands but helps it to it. I'm loving the um the circle mm. on this it's amazing other thing is here's our beautiful um garlic and rosemary that we did before so I'm just going to spread that down so again I do like to get tactile in the kitchen and um, use my hands. Get a salt on there as well. Where's my salt? Okay. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on there too. And I have our beautiful rose gold oven tray. Now, these are fabulous. These are part of our rose gold collection. So we have a range of oven trays. We have a range of uh, tins, cake tins <laughs> as well, but they're non-stick. So all I need to do is pop that in. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm really happy with that. That's 
parmesan on it. You can add olives. I could add my dukkha dukkha dukkha. Yep, on there. Bit of parmesan, bit of olives. But this, this pizza Bianca, just a very simple traditional recipe that is awesome to have with um, the soup. We're expected to leave now, I did preheat my oven and the thermomix told me to do that so I couldn't forget. Um, how long have we got to go there? 10 minutes. So that is actually perfect timing because I reckon that will be cooked by that stage. Now, one of the things that you told us when you registered for this class was that one, the, I think we asked you what your pain points were in the kitchen and quite a few of you said that it was deciding what to cook. And that's one of the things, isn't it, when you don't expect when you're an adult that you have to decide what to cook every day for the rest of your life. So the Thermomix and Cookie Goo can help you with that. And Carol, I was wondering whether you could perhaps come around and have a bit of a chat about how Cookie Goo works. And yeah, absolutely. Do that. Oh, you, are you doing it on your... Yeah, I'm doing it on my computer. Okay. So, hello. Hi. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is why... Um, lots of people absolutely love this new TM6, is not only can you do it on your computer or your iPad, but you can actually do it on your TM6 as well. So you've got all your devices, it doesn't matter, you can do all your meal prep, everything, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna spotlight this one here. Right, so hello. And I'm going to share my screen with you into the video. Okay, can I just have a thumbs up? Um, maybe Susie, can you see and hear me clearly? Can you see the Cookadoo screen? Yep, awesome. Okay, fantastic. So this is our main cookie platform. I am doing it on the computer today so you can actually see it a lot more clearly. Um, but as we said before, you can see it on your thermo mix as well. So this is our main search engine and here we do, you can search by recipes or you can search by ingredients. So let's have a look at this state. Let's say we have got chicken in our fridge, okay? We're just going to do a little search here. Now I have my filters open and I will explain them in a moment, but I have my filters open and it brings up um, Australia, Canada, United Kingdom and United States. That's because those are all English-speaking countries and um, so I want all of them. The more filters you have preset to your search, the more recipes are going to come up. But if you speak another language, open up one of those countries as well. We have heaps of different countries and I'll show you in the filters. But let's go searching for a recipe. So you can go through. There's 997 recipes that have come up in chicken. Wow, that is very, very cool. So let's have a look. Oh, I like to look at this one, chicken and spinach lasagna. I've actually cooked this a million times and if you haven't tried this one, give it a go. It's really, really cool. So these three little dots here, and what we're going to do now is click on there and you have a choice. You can cook it today. So you could select this now and then go and turn your thermo mix on and it would come up. That's your recipe that you're cooking today. You could add it to a collection. So what's a collection? Let's have a look. So collections are like, think of Spotify or YouTube. It's like a little playlist. So you can create, let's do one here. So we're going to create a collection and we're going to call it um, winter warmer, winter warmer foods. That really makes no sense, but that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> so winter warmer foods. So that's the hearty Stuff that I want to cook. So next time I can just go in and that will be in there. So when I'm feeling like one of those sorts of um, meals or what you can do is you can add it to your week. Now this is where it gets really cool and meal planners are going to absolutely love this. So we will go through. Okay, so well the kids have spotted on Thursday night so I might not then but let's, we will cook that on Saturday. So I'm going to save that. So you can go through and click on searching for recipes like that. The other way you can search for recipes is through collections. Now, when people, when you purchase your Thermomix, you actually get a subscription to Cookadoo for six months. After that, it is $49 a year. Okay, when you think of 
what you get for that. If you're someone who likes to buy one cookbook a year, you know, our cookbooks are between $40 and $60. That's one Uber Eats for me. Yeah. That's like if I don't have to cook one night and do like an Uber Eats instead. Yeah, absolutely. Less than. And if you buy one cookbook a year, why wouldn't you buy the subscription to Cookadoo and get worldwide all of our cookbooks? Because if you have a look down here, so I've got the chicken in there, I'm just going to delete that so it gives me a search of everything. But you have a look, it's all oh, it's still doing the chicken, but look at all these. So many different books. And you can go, if we, I'll go back out and I'll go in again. I just need to move this over. So I'm going to go to collections and this will bring them all up now. So, you know, you can be looking for anything. You know, it's Easter time. You want to cook something, you know, hot crust buns, things like that. You could go, um, you know, you're feeling low carb. You're doing a keto diet. You could look up that basic cookbook, which is the one that you get with your machine. Um, you know, you're having a Spanish night, looking Spanish tapas. It's all there. You know, savings with your thermomix when we're talking about um, Uber Eats and stuff like that. They've even got little, you know, um, you've got your fake way nights and everything. You're going to be saving so much money if you're cooking it and it's much healthier as well. So that's the mega bonus with your thermomix. So I'll just move this uh, away. Um, and what I'm going to show you now is the game changer for me. Um, and I'm sure you will think it as well. So we've gone through, we've done all of our recipe planning. And we've done all of our searches and then we go into my week. Now remembering this is all going to come up on your thermomix. So you know, you know what could happen if you were really lucky, someone else could come into the kitchen, turn on the thermomix, go to today, and they could start getting out all the ingredients and prepping it for you. Hasn't happened in my household <laughs> yet, but I'm still fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so you've got you know, you can see here we've got today what we're cooking, tomorrow what we're cooking, it's all there. But this is where I love it. So we go chocolate pudding. I don't have those ingredients. So let's add that to my shopping list. And I don't have the ingredients for red pesto chicken salad either. So let's add that to the shopping list. Once you've done that, you can show your ingredients. And you have a couple of options of how to view it. I like by category because it does show as per the supermarket aisles, but you can also do by recipes. So you can take your phone along with you to the supermarket and delete each of these items as you put them into your trolley. What a time saving thing that is. Really, really cool. So you can go through, tick that off, tick that off, tick that off. Then you know you're not reading through this big long list because you're ticking it off as you go along. You can also add ingredients. So we could tick all these off. Let's just tick a couple off so it looks smaller. There we go. Now you could add, you know, the toilet books if we can spell correctly. So the toilet paper, shampoo, you can add whatever you like on there. You can e email this to a friend as well or a partner if they're picking up the ingredients or you can order your ingredients. How cool is this? So if I click up here, it'll actually take me. We are partnered with Woolworths. Um, not sure if there's other supermarkets to come. Maybe, maybe not. But um, we're partnered with Woolworths at the moment. And click on here. It will take you to your nearest store. And then once you've set that up in the system, all of your ingredients with the amounts that you need come up here. This is mind-blowing, is it? If you haven't seen this before, um, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now, it does bring up particular brands, but you know what? It doesn't matter because if you don't like that brand or perhaps you're looking for something on special, you can just swap it. So you just click swap and you choose. You're impressed, aren't you? I know you're impressed. <laughs> this is like my favourite thing ever. Um, oh, did I ever make use of this over so last year? Oh. Like just the ability to, you know, it takes all of the thinking out of things. I can add things to my list. I can add them to the shopping list. I click a button, it's ordered, click again. And I actually like to go through the drive-thru and pick my shopping up. But 
you know, you can have it just delivered to your home. It is just, yeah. So it's click and collect, or you can have it delivered free. So that I will, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. But it is absolutely fantastic, guys. And it's just another brilliant concept that Thermomix has designed to save you time. It's efficient. It's just really awesome. And another thing is you do save money when you're doing your meal planning because you can use your ingredients throughout. So really, really fantastic. I'm going to stop sharing and I think we're going to head back over to the Thermomix. Oh, I just burnt my phone. Yep. Yes, we are. Okay. So let me just move our face in there. Stop sharing. And we're going to go back. Uh, here we go. Let me move this out of there. Two. Uh, hello. You just got a really nice view of all my kitchen, didn't you? And all of the <laughs> Sorry. things I moved off my bench so you wouldn't be able to see them. All right, we have just a few seconds to go on the thermomix. So once this finishes, what we're going to do is to add some vegetables okay, into our Varoma or our steaming. Now, Varoma, you may not know this, but Varoma is actually a made-up word. It's a combination of vapour. And aroma. Don't you love it that it sings to you and tells you that it's ready? Now you can actually set your timer as well. Let me just move this around so you can actually see the thermomix a bit better. Here we go. So a little tip for you when you take the lid off the thermomix, if you don't want to give yourself a facial, you take it off. That way, did you see the steam coming up? So those are looking good. I think they probably need a little bit longer, those chicken on the top, the chicken tenderloins. But when I say next, it's asking me to pop in some carrots and some zucchini. So I just take my tray out, pop it on top of my lid so that I keep my bench nice and clean. What I've got here is some zucchini. Now, if you have a one of the, what are they, zoodle, zoodle things, you can do it with that. I don't have one. So I just used a potato peeler. And I actually quite like, um, the effect of just using a potato peeler to peel some carrots and some zucchinis. Or if you become a consultant, one of the many gifts is the kitchen toolkit. Once you sell too, free. Do you know what? I, I didn't even think to get my kitchen toolkit out, but oh my goodness, that is amazing. So yes, as part of your, when you become a consultant, one of the rewards that you can get is your own kitchen toolkit. Um, and you know what? I'll show you something else. I'm going to pop this on. So we've popped our vegetables in. It's going to go for another five minutes and I'm going to check my pizza. While I'm doing that, I want to show you these bread baskets. So we talked a bit about bread before. So if bread's something you're interested in, these baskets are fantastic. And this is one of the extras that you could earn as a consultant. So every month when you're a consultant, you get little things, little goals, that if you achieve the goals, you actually earn beautiful little things. And it gives you access to things sometimes before they hit the mix shop. But it's just great to get these special things that you can share with your customers, show your customers, you know, and just play with things. Because I think, you know, if, if you're considering Thermomix, well, you know what? It doesn't matter what experience you've got. We have people from all different work forms of life in our team. We have nurses, we have hairdressers, we have some doctors, we have stay-at-home mums, we have people who work in full-time jobs and want a bit of a side hustle. Um, the main thing with Thermomix is that if you love food, and you love your thermomix and you want to talk to people, then it's definitely something that I would recommend you find out more about. As I said before, um, get curious. You might actually find that the model is a bit different to what you were expecting. Look at our pizza. I think I have it just in time. How good does that smell for Amazing. And can you see completely non stick on that rubber cold So I'm going to just going to pop that onto a nice <laughs> plate with my tongs for the little bit of my fingers. Beautiful. Yeah. Actually, do you know what her? Do you mind? Mm hmm Get Kirsten to do some cooking for me. Um, <laughs> I actually did do another one. Would you mind just working that on my tray and I'm gonna pop actually this tray I can actually go in the oven as well, but I won't do that today. Sure. Can you stick that on and we'll pop that in the oven? The other one as well because my children will demolish this. Actually, I think my son would demolish this in one second. So, what's happening in the thermomix? What's happening in the thermomix? Just as a reminder, we have our chicken steaming on the top, our chicken tenderloin. We have our vegetables steaming in the bottom. 
of the varoma of the steamer, we have our leeks and our potatoes sitting in that simmering basket so that they're steaming, okay, and um, in that basket away from the blades. And where then we have our beautiful onions and water and garlic mixed down the bottom. So that is all going to form a soup. And this top bit is going to form a, a second course, if you like. Now, this is a fabulous little addition to your thermomix. And if you purchase the thermomix this month, you can actually buy this wood as part of an add-on bundle for $39, isn't it? Yep, $39 along with a, an oval thermo server, which I'll show you in a sec. But do you know what this does? This actually fits on top of the blades. So that, say, did you see how I sort of put all of the potatoes and leeks into that simmering basket and there was, it was quite full in there? If you wanted more room to steam things or to, you know, keep them off the blades, this is what you do. So this is fabulous for slow cooking as well. We have a slow cooking function as part of Thermomix mode. But yeah, it allows you to do a whole, a whole lot of other things in your Thermomix. So that is an additional add-on bundle that you can buy with your Thermomix this month. We have a question yeah. um, with regards to a vegetarian version of this dish. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions rather Ooh, than chicken? Chicken. Mm, I don't know. What do you like? Do you like to maybe could do some halloumi <gasps> that'd be delicious that would be amazing do you know what's also great steamed in the thermo top of the thermo is tofu if you're a tofu person um you can do your tofu in the top too as well but i'd be going with the halloumi i think that would be delicious that would be amazing mm. or you could just do more vegetables absolutely because that sauce at the end is yes is delicious yeah in fact i'm trying to think um what i used to do in demonstrations when people were vegetarian with this dish and I think we just didn't serve the chicken at the end. The other thing that if you are a vegetarian and you're cooking and you want to steam those chicken tenderloins for other people, um, you can pop some baking tray, um, baking tray, baking paper on that tray and that will stop the juices. If you're wanting to avoid the chicken juices contaminating your soup, then you can pop that on there as well. And actually in the mix shop, we do have aroma lines, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah, that you could get yeah. from the mix shop. Or a that silver are, tray. Or a silver tray. Actually, that would be better. The silver tray would be the, the silver best. tray would be the best if you wanted to do that. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes. I'll do that when I pull the soup out, actually, but thank you for the reminder about the urban or the candle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there is our beautiful pizza that we can cut up and use. Hello, Mr. Thermomix. Okay, so there we go. So again, I'm using that because I don't want to have a spatial with the steam, but I'm wondering whether I can actually do this so that you can see those chicken tenderloins. Yeah, beautiful. They look beautiful, don't they? And, and it smells. Smells amazing. And then underneath, hmm, pop that on there for a sec. You can see that they're, per so look at the beautiful colour, right? They're not overcooked, they're not soggy, they're still beautiful and they're not crisp, they're cooked through, but you can see that they're just a beautiful, stunning, keeps all of the colours in there. So, you know, sometimes you think about steamed food and you think, you know, it, go, it sometimes loses its colour. Again, we've got that set time, so the thermomix knows how long to cook you. Give you that perfect colour. All right. Let's have a look now. I'm going to turn my thermomix around to do this because it can be sometimes a little bit tricky. All right, I have my spatula. So the spatula has a little hook on it so that I can remove my simmering basket quite soaky like this. So it just picks up like that. And if I want it to drain a bit further, I can just rest it on the side there and it drains all the liquid out. But I don't want to do that. What I actually want to do is to pop those vegetables back into my um, thermomix. I forgot what it was for for a second. Okay, so in we go. So there's our, pop our lid back. Am I supposed to be saying something else now? Um, I would mention that this actually does now, the TM6 shows you videos. So certain steps, it's pretty I cool. I did not know that. <laughs> This is why I have her here helping me today. So, have you gone? 
There you oh, go. Look, so if it's, there's a little arrow there. So if you just press on it, I mean, this is a pretty simple step, but with regards to plaiting dough and stuff, if you see a oh. recipe and it has a little arrow, you press that and it will actually play a video for you of how to do the step that it's talking about. So that is oh, really sold. exciting. Give me a thermometer. Yeah, really exciting. Oh, that's awesome. I did not know we could do that. There you go. There you Learn go. You every day. All right. So we have our cooked leek and potatoes in here and we put in the measuring cup and we are going to turn the speed up to start. So now what we're doing, we're using our blending mode and you can see, I don't know whether you can see actually, but it has a little symbol on there that tells me that it's now been blending. So that's going to go for a minute. Can I talk over the top of it or will it not let me? Um, I don't know, Susie, can you give us a thumbs up? Can you hear it? Uh, no. Wait, okay, we wait for you. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. I think you think that goes. All right. Next. So what I'm going to do is to transfer now. It tells me to transfer almost all of the soup into our thermo server. So that is my server. So as I said before, this is available to you as a host reward and talk to your thermomix consultant about how that all works. Oh, it smells beautiful. amazing, doesn't it? I didn't have a bowl here. Please. I was just trying to see, Chris, would you, Chris, would you like lunch? Look at how smooth that is. That and is just that's where the velvet, the oh, lute yeah. comes from because the texture is just beautiful. beautiful. That silky smooth velvet texture. All right. So this is a thermo server. It is a double walled stainless steel thermos type container. And what it does is it helps to keep your food hot. What's great about that is I can now pop the lid on here and that's going to keep my soup warm for me for up to about an hour. Depends. Do you know what? The more you put in your thermo server, the more it keeps it warm. Okay. So it can be any sort of time. Oh, hello. Sorry, guys. I just pointed her phone at me. <laughs> Post reward for you. So when you take, do your own tailored cooking demonstration or cooking experience in your home or online, talk to your consultant about that and um, bang. Or today, if you're here today as well and you have a guest along today to today's experience, then that could be available for you too. All right. I did forget to tell you about the ergonomic candle, but this is a game changer for me. Um, bit of a dodgy shoulder. I don't want to be pouring things like this. So they've thought of everything. We have this ergonomic handle. I'm going to give Christopher a little bit more soup. And I can just do this really quickly, really easily, and hold by holding the bottom of the handle. No more sore shoulders for me. All right, I have left a little bit of the soup in the bottom of the thermometer. Off we go. Asking me to add one and a half tablespoons of creme fraiche. Now, Fresh is pretty expensive, particularly if you're only going to use it one and a half tablespoons of it for your sauce. So I've just sour cream works just as well. So I have just bought some sour cream and let's pop in about one and a half tablespoons. Again, I'm a little bit of this, little bit of that cook. Um, so I like I tend to um, taste as I go to check flavours. So if you're one of those cooks, you can see that you can still cook in your thermomix quite easily by using the guided cooking by just, again, as I said, you're the boss. You do what you need to do. All right, Dijon mustard, here we go. And I need two teaspoons of that. 
And again, I'm fairly generous with my teaspoons because I do like this flavour. Next, and off we go. Lid. On. Now that's just going to mix up that sauce. So in the meantime, I'm going to get the plate out. So Kurt, you're going to have some beautiful soup. And I'm going to make it look more special for you. A little bit of rosemary on there for you. There you go. Nothing like a little bit of garnish as well. Um, and the other thing I'm going to serve up for Kurt to have is some vegetables. Now, you notice I have this oval thermo server. So remember before I mentioned that part of a bundle that you could have this month was your meat, uh, your meat, your blade cover. Um, the other part of that bundle that comes with that $39 is this oval thermo server. So this is just an oval shape of the round bowl that I showed you before, but it actually, it looks quite beautiful um, to serve things up. So Kerr, how many chicken fillets would you like? Oh, just chicken 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 ones. Two. Thank you. Like two. Awesome. So imagine if you, you cook this and took it along to someone's house. What time is it? A little bit over time. So we're going to pop those in there. That'll be dinner later. And I have my fabulous sauce that I just made. I'm just going to pop over the top. Beautiful. So that's that beautiful velvety smooth sauce. Not to mention. And our pizza. Amazing pizza to soak up all that sauce and that soup. Well, let's get a little bit of a fit everything on. How's that? Now I talk a lot. Of so how much of time do you think that took us to make that? Maybe 45? If that, and look at what you've made, mm -hmm. and you weren't really doing much. I was doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Didn't feel like I was doing much cooking. Yeah. So Oval Thermo Server is, as I said, part of the bundle for you um, for a hosting reward. Uh, sorry, for as a purchase for your Thermo Mint. You could also get that as a host reward. And coincidence, is actually our, our, one of our incentives for our consultants this month. So again, if Thermo Risk Consulting is something that you're curious about, it is really an amazing experience. So not only do we get to cook to people and share a product that we love, um, you know, you form lifelong friends too. It's an amazing community. We all share, don't we, all of our kinks and It's fun. It is I, fun. That's what I think. Yeah, it's fun. I think so too. Yeah. So if you're looking, some people come along for a short time. Some people join us for a long time. Some people come along as a side hustle and a part-time income. Some people like to do it as a more of a full-time job. So really, it can work for you. You can do it all from your own home and do everything virtually, or you can go to people's houses as well, or have people around to your house. It's so flexible. You can cook the things that you love. You can cook things for your customers. Why wouldn't you want to do it? So if that is of interest to you um, and you're thinking you just want to know a bit more, then just stay on board, stay on after this and um, I can answer any questions that you have about that. Um, or I'm actually hosting a business information session tonight on Zoom at 8 o'clock. Uh, Kerr, I've just put you on the spot. I'm not sure whether you have the link for that. Do no. you? Mm. No. Okay. Your consultant will be able to help you with that. Yeah. Maybe Kerr can find the link for that. So I've got, I'm doing one of those tonight at 8 o'clock if you'd like to come along. So we have those on a Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. And we also have them on a Thursday at 1 p.m. where basically come along, I'll do a bit of presentation and show you all about the thing, um, the thing, consulting and being part of our team. So I hope you've enjoyed all of the cooking and I hope you're going away with a few hints and tips. Now, if you're wanting to purchase as a result of today, please get in touch with your consultant. They'll be able to arrange everything for you and run through all the payment options. Um, and I highly, highly recommend that you get in touch with your consultant and arrange your own booking experience where you can see what you want to see, ask all of the questions in real life that you want to ask and really get all of the information that you need to make a decision to purchase a Thermomix. 
As I said before, we also have our bold laid and lid offer. So if you're part of this experience today and you have a friend along and your friend purchases, then you can obtain an extra bold blade and lid set for $99. As I said, this offer does not come up very often. Um, so definitely take advantage of that. If you've thought of people who want to, might be interested in looking at a Thermomix or if you're, you know someone who might be wanting to upgrade or if you're wanting to upgrade your Thermomix, what you want to do is get in contact with your consultant. Um, particularly, as I said, while this bulb laden and lid offer is on and they will be able to arrange a cooking experience for you where you can do that. Now, TM5 and TM31 owners, you can also access a bowl and blade and lid set for your Thermomix by hosting a cooking experience as well if there is a purchase um, at your cooking experience. I think I explained that, but any questions at all, please go back to the person who invited here today. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. Thank you, Kerr, for um, helping. No and worries. doing cookie do. And I've learned something today as well. The video's on the Thermomix screen. Hope you've really enjoyed the time. I've really enjoyed spending this time with you. And, um, yeah, do you know what? I'd love to see you at the business information session today at 8 or tomorrow at 1. So hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.